What's up guys? Welcome to Crown Rick Auto. Today I'm finally going to be showing you guys the District 76 Assault Vehicle. I am super excited about this one because it's big, bad, and mean. But actually, before we get to that, let me show you this. This old San Francisco police car. It's a 2010 Unfortunately, the engine is blown on it, but the transmission is still good. I sold the wheels. They had the Firehawks by Firestone. Yeah, I got rid of those. There's the center console. Uh, not much goodies in here. It looks like it was stripped pretty good. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. But if I do anything crazy with it, you'll, you'll definitely see it here on this channel. Okay, let's walk up to this thing. There she is. She is right over here. All right, guys, here she is. This is a 1993 GMC Top Kick diesel truck. This is the District 76 multi-purpose urban assault vehicle. So we here at District 76 have a really low budget. So this is a multi-purpose vehicle. So we use it to plow down loyalist compounds, extract criminals out of their holes. I mean, you name it, this vehicle does it. So since our budget is really low here at District 76, like I said before, um, I had to pay some kid to outfit it for me. He did what I would call a very crappy job. I'm gonna show you all this thing lit up um, here in just a bit. Look, some of this stuff looks like he was just like JB welded. He ended up breaking this thing. Check it out, we have some federal signal siren speakers right here. I'm surprised these things haven't been gaffled yet. We got a little light bar right there. We had a light bar in the front, but unfortunately it got stolen. Place is crawling with loyalists, tweakers, and criminals. Look, we have a gun rack right here. Very muddy, but you know, it serves its purpose. Okay, and uh, look at this wiring over here. It's like sticking out and just looking like that. This truck did sit here for a while. Let me uh, let me show you some footage of uh, us trying to get it started for the first time in months. All right, follow me. Check it out. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Look at this. He didn't even bolt it down. It's like the most simplest thing that you could do. And zip, everything looks zip tied and all these wires exposed everywhere. Ah, oh, where the duff is. So we're gonna try to start this beast up. You gotta um, prime it, cause the diesel. All right, I'm just gonna go for it. I think this thing has been sitting here for months, if not a year and it starts right up. Well, I don't know about right up, but. Uh, I think the battery's dead now. Let me, uh, oh, man. Let me get the jump box. I think you that comes. Jump. Yeah, push it up. Negative, positive. You gonna do it like this, right? <laughs> yeah, put it on your tongue. Or put it on your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back at it. This guy showed up to help out. Monkey man over here. Is it a diesel? Yeah. You still recording? Yeah. Good. That means you don't know anything about glow plugs. Go. What? Don't you know something? You have to cycle your key, my guy. It's a diesel. It's gonna be cold blooded because it's been sitting. Yeah. But diesels have these things called glow plugs. They don't have spark plugs. What? Because diesel is compression, not spark. PTO? That's, that's for your PTO, you don't need What's a PTO? Power takeoff. Yeah, and it's been sitting for a while. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Because you know a thing or two about... Uh... Yeah, starting fluid? Starting fluid? Uh, yeah, I have to go get it. Go get it. Uh, where's the fuck? This thing takes gallons of oil, not quarts. Surprisingly, the oil don't look too gross. Right in there. Okay, so we got some started fluid. Great. Go ahead. Yeah, buddy. You also like, can't even afford 
Oh, and it has an air leak. It has an air leak. Somewhere. Your brakes are air. Yeah, it has an air leak. Oh, you got to get that Oh wow, somebody zip tied it. I know, you need a hose clamp. You have a hose clamp? I might, hold on. Okay, we got her going and he fixed the air leak. <laughs> you better hurry up. <laughs> Go! Go, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Start her up and light her up. Okay, as you can see, the red and the blue are backwards. That's supposed to be red and that's supposed to be blue. He didn't know any better, I guess. These are meant for interior and the weather killed them off. Here's the video of what they look like when they were working. Also, it looks like these lights stop working as well. All right, let's look at the back. Traffic advisor is still working. Those are backwards. That should be red and that should be blue. And the reason for that is because red means stop and you want to stop on the driver's side because usually the car is on the side of the road to the right. That means stop. For those who didn't know that. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Again, wrong so wrong color. This light stopped working as well. Okay, let's take a good look in the inside. Whoa, why is there lights down here? So I guess there was lights right there, that idiot. He must have not uh, bolted on right because it should never fall no matter what. What a duffus. This is how we hook this up right here. But you know what they say though, I can't be mad at it because you get what you pay for. This is definitely upside down. Yeah, th th this is upside down and backwards. This is how he bolted that. Very terrible way to do it. I'm surprised those things haven't fell yet. So this is our Motorola radio here. We can reach uh, the local District 76 radios and dispatch. We have a Touchmaster Unitrol. Hit the horn. Yeah. <laughs> so my plan with this thing is to paint it matte black, put our District 76 logos, build a platform back there so I can carry a little small army, put a wench in the front. Of course, get the lights and all of that working again. Okay, this is our next victim. <laughs> this thing is full of water. No wonder it was so heavy. <sighs> We're about to plow this thing with the District 76 assault vehicle. Right there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we should put Funny Man in there. Okay, so I'm crossing my fingers that nobody comes by. Okay, Funny Man, thank you for volunteering. Wait, you did what? You have rights? This is police brutality? Oh, no, no, no. This is District 76. The rules don't apply here, son. All right, found you a nice little apartment here rent free don't worry all utilities paid yeah when you hit the corner go full speed don't be afraid of that thing okay don't pull the tailor and slow down at the last minute hope he doesn't hurt himself i don't even think that guy has a class b driver's license here he comes Man, you slowed down way before you even hit it. Do you want me to drive? Okay, we're gonna try that again. He got scared and he slammed the brakes the very last second. What a duffus. 
We'll see. That's really bad for my brakes. Let me check on Funny Man. You all right there? Oh, he's still, look at him. He's still smiling. He's good. Funny man, was that fun or what? <laughs> Look at the door. Look, it's the ram bar indented in there. Even the numbers are on there. Oh, is it? Right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look, not a single scratch on this thing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take this thing out for a spin. Woo! Let's see what this baby's got. <laughs> yeah, how's she drive? She drives great. Oh, good. good. Oh. Look at this thing. <laughs> Some lights fell off. Look at this. He glued this thing on like it's gonna stay. Look, Look at this. What a duffus. Okay, so we just taped it on there for now. All right, we're gonna take some pictures real quick. You gotta go faster. I'm trying to find you, by the way. 